Okay, so we have the this question here it says for the data shown answer the following questions. Whenever you're given data and they ask you for specific calculations, the first thing you always want to do is input your data into the calculator. So you don't have to order it or anything like that. I'm just going to put it in the way it's written. So I'm going to start by going to stat, which is right in the middle here. I'm going to edit my list. So I'm hit enter. And you might have some stuff there. I have this from a different class. So I'm just going to go up to the actual name of the list, L2. You're going to hit clear, enter. I'm going to go up, highlight L1, hit clear, enter. Now I'm just going to put each data value in. Whoops, 19.1. It's like that. Once the data is in your list, you're going to go back to the stat menu. And now we want to calculate some uh, statistics. So we're going to calculate. And we are going to calculate statistics on one variable, namely x, the variable we input. So I'm just going to hit enter on one variable statistics. The data is coming from L1. So our list is L1. We don't have a frequency list, so just leave that blank. And now we're going to hit calculate. And that's going to spit out every single um, calculation you need. The first one being the mean. The mean is the same thing as x bar. So in our calculator, that's going to be 14.9428 or 14.943. The median, we're going to, have to scroll down a little bit to get that. The median's right there near the bottom, 16.8. And the standard deviation is going to be, now there's two here, there's SX and Sigma X. Um, the thing to keep in mind here, for all these problems, we're going to use SX. Later in the course, you'll, we'll talk about the difference between these two. But for now, just stick with SX, which is 5.2.